Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to write equilibrium constant expressions K, KQ, KC, and KP. In general, K is the products divided by reactants or products of a reactants. If you're asked to write KC, then it'll be concentration of products over concentration of reactants. The C right here stands for concentration, and that's what those brackets also stand for. KP is the pressure of products over the pressure of reactants. If you're just asked to write K or KEQ without the specification of KC and KP, then just default to using a concentration unless otherwise specified. So you might want to also just double check with your teacher because different teachers have prefer different preferences regarding K, K and KEQ. The coefficients in the reaction become the exponents or the powers. And then lastly, ignore the solids and liquids because their concentrations are constant. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples to see how these rules are applied. So for these problems, we will be writing the equilibrium constant expressions for the following reactions. For this first reaction, let's start off by like, taking a look at the states and just crossing any solids and liquids out because we ignore those. So we have a gas, a gas, solid, cross this out, and then a gas. So since the, all these are gases, we have the option of writing either Kc expressing it in concentration or Kp. I'll show you both. So Kc would be the concentration of H2O raised to the first power because that's a coefficient of 1 divided by the concentration of reactants, which is the NH3 raised to the second power because this coefficient multiplied by the concentration of CO2 raised to the first power. For Kp, we'll just be using pressure. So it'll be pressure of the products, H2O, divided by pressure of the reactants, NH3, squared because of coefficient 2, multiplied by the pressure of CO2. An example, the first thing we'll do is just look at all the states. So we'll aqueous, 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 aqueous. There's no solid liquids to cancel out. Since all these are aqueous, we can only write Kc, because then you can only use Kp if there are gases. So Kc, or just K, would equal the concentration of the product C squared, because of 2, multiplied by D raised to the third power, divided by the concentration of reactants on the bottom, A raised to the first power, because that's no coefficients, multiplied by B raised to the power of 4, because that's a coefficient of 4. The next example, we'll start again by just crossing any solids and liquids out, cross this one out, cross this one out, and since these are, this is a gas that's left over, we can write Kc or Kp. We can write K is equal to, and since we have crossed out the product and there's no other product, then we'll just default to using a 1 here. 1 divided by the pressure, actually concentration of O2 raised to the power of 3 over 2. Or we can also write Kp, which is 1 divided by the pressure of O2 divided by or raised to the power of 3 over 2. Next one, start, again start off by crossing solids and liquids out, cross out the solid here and the liquid here. Both of these are aqueous, so we'll use this concentration. K equals the concentration of Ca2 plus divided by the concentration of H plus squared because of the coefficient. Last example, we have a, both a gas and aqueous here. So typically aqueous is when you use concentration of gases, you have the option of using concentration or pressure. But when you have both in the same reaction, use concentration for aqueous and then use pressure when there's a gas. So our K expression would be the concentration of CO2 divided by the pressure of CO2. Because this is aqueous, we use concentration. And then because this one was a gas, we use pressure. And there you have it. That's how you would write the equilibrium constant expression for any reaction. So just to recap what we've learned, K is products divided by reactants. If it's Kc, use concentration. If it's Kp, use pressure. The coefficients in the reaction become the exponents in the expression and ignore solids and liquids because their concentrations are constant. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.